Today we're in the Lake District, a place called Glenridding, parked in the car park to your right hand side, seven pounds all day. Just in front of you there, you've got the toilets. We're going to walk up to the mines and make it around. So we head forward now, just to the right hand side of the toilets. We're just at the side of the tourist information centre now, heading up through the car park towards Greenside Road. That'll be slightly on our right hand side. We take the footpath to Hellville in via Greenside Mine. So within a couple of minutes, we're making our way up the road. So we're heading forward, passing the Traveller's Rest pub on our right hand side. As we walk up Greenside Road, we pass the post box on our left hand side. We're heading towards the row of houses on our right hand side. We're stood in front of the row of houses now, looking to our left hand side. We just keep heading forward along the track, past the second row of houses on our right. As we head forward, that's looking to our left hand side again. Just slightly drizzly with a bit of sunshine now and again. We're steadily making our way up towards the mines, following the track. You're walking with a taxi driver today and we've got snow on top of the fells. It's the 19th of February. Just keep heading forward. Just down below us, on our left hand side, we've got a footbridge and a fair bit of waterfall in there, look. While we've got a bit of sunshine, we'll turn round and take a shot looking back. We'll grab the bit of sunshine before it disappears. We just keep heading forward now towards the mines. As you can see, the waterfalls are in pretty good flow with all the rain we've had. As we follow the track, we look down to our left hand side and we can see the waterfall just in front of the workings. We can see the felling trees there, look. We keep going. As we get near the mines, the sun's out, we turn round and take a shot. Just keep heading forward, you'll pass the youth hostel on your left hand side. We're just at the side of Striding Edge Hostel and these look like the old workings in front of us. Look at the waterfalls there. Looks pretty good. So we just keep heading forward, crossing over the little bridge. And as we cross over the bridge, we take a quick look to our left hand side. Make your way to the end of the hostel. In front of you, you've got sign turning right for Whiteside Bank and Sticks Pass. We turn right there. As you turn right, just stop and take a look at the view down towards Glenridden. We're heading uphill now for a short way looking for a right turn. You cross over a tiny stream, we turn right there, pretty steep uphill, signpost says Sticks Pass. That's the view straight up the valley. As you can see there's mist on top of the snow-capped hills, but we're bearing off right following the Blue Arrows, heading towards the top side of the workings 
and the little waterfall. You'll head uphill a couple hundred feet, you'll see some of the old workings, and then the path bears left again, zigzagging up the hill. Before we go any further, we look back towards Glenridding. As you can see, this is, you know, reasonably steep. We've got the snow-capped hill at the top. We keep heading that way. As we make our way uphill, we look to our left-hand side at the river valley. We see there's two people there coming down the path. We think that leads towards Helvellyn. We just keep giving you a quick shot as we go uphill. We're slowly making our way towards the top, and I mean slowly. We keep going. We've more or less made it to the top of the workings now. On our right hand side, we've got a waterfall coming in, just above the workings. We've just been talking to a walker on the way down, and he said it's a bit sleety on the top, so let's go and have a look. As you can see, we're getting up into the snow line. Whether we'll get this finished, we just don't know. Still got to go a bit higher yet. And we're just heading straight forward. We cross over the footbridge and then turn immediate right. Where then two walkers are there, look. We're just about to cross over the bridge and as you can see on our left hand side, the water's coming out the bottom of the spoil heaps. That's looking to our right. We're right in the middle of workings up here again. So we've crossed the bridge, we're turning right uphill. You can see some little peaks on the right hand side. That's more or less where we're heading, or that direction anyway. As we start to make our way uphill, we look back and in the distance, we can see a ski lift and people skiing there, look. We've been passing people all day carrying the skis up and down and now we know why. We turn round and keep heading on up. As you head forward uphill, you're more or less walking towards the dip in the middle. We keep going. As you make your way over the brow, you can see we'll be picking up the path at the far side of that bit of snow on your right hand side. Well, I don't know if we're gonna go any further. Look at the snow, it's right on the edge there. Well, there we are, there's Hull's water in front of us and that's where we need to be. But as you can see, the snow on the right hand side has brought us to a halt. It's just a sheer face down there. If you slip, you know, there's a fair old fall. So we're gonna have to abandon that route because it's too dangerous. So we just made our way back a couple hundred feet. We're turning left. We're heading up towards Sheffield Pike and make our way back to Glen Ridding that way because we're running out of time. That's looking to our right hand side as we make our way up to the pike. The sun just popped its head out. So we're slowly making our way up towards the pike now. As we do, we look back, we can see the mist coming in on the hills behind us. One minute you've got the sunshine and then within five or ten minutes the mist rolls in and then it clears and somewhere under that top it's a ski lift in the skiers I can just make out one or two with my eyes but I don't know if the camera can we keep going we're nearly at the top now we've only a short way to go and we'll be up to the top of the pike but just look at that there. That's ice on top of the water. And we've got the sun shining in the valleys down below. And here we are, we're at the top. Let's have a look round now. 
All I can say is, look at that for a view. Absolutely fantastic. Been a slow job getting up here, but that's well worth it. Hill's water. I'm stood right on the top. That's to our left hand side. And that's to the right. And there we are, look, we bear off slightly right on that path. That should take us back towards Glenridding. And there we are, just before we go down. That's our left hand side. And you can see the snow melt forming the little waterfalls. We're slowly making our way downhill now. Before we go any lower, I think I'm just going to take one last shot. And that looks pretty good, does that? Well worth the effort. We keep going. We just keep following the path, steadily dropping down towards Glenridding. As we come over the top, there's the view. We can see the path just to the left hand side of that big patch of snow. You can see the end of Old's Water on your left. As you can see, some of the path is absolutely covered in snow drifts. But we can see the end of Old's Water down below. So we're slowly making our way down. We've soon picked up the path again. We're about 100 feet or 150 feet to the side of that big rock there. And here's the view. Just coming in a bit misty again and just a bit drizzly, but uh, there we are. Beautiful place though. Well, we'll keep going, we're running out of time now. As you go downhill, because the path's not that good today, with the snow and the rain, just basically keep heading towards the end of Old's Water and the wall down below. If you look closely, you'll see a couple of people down there. We can't really find a visible path down off that top. As you can see, we're slowly making our way down, heading towards the corner of the wall in front of us. Just below there is Glenridden. As we go further down, we come across like a faint path and that takes us to the wall. We turn right there. As we follow the wall, the weather's coming in a bit now. It's starting to rain a bit. We keep going. Well, we've made it to the end of the wall. We turn left and then within 100 feet, we turn right and that'll take us down towards Glenridden. You can hear the wind blowing up here, but just before we turn right, we look back and that's the hill that we've just come down. Pretty impressive, that one. Well, we turn right and keep going. As we make our way down towards Glenridden, we look to our right hand side. You can hear the wind. You can see the rain and the mist on the top of the fells, but what a great day. As we slowly turn left, down below us, we've got Glenridden. Today, we thought we'd take the lower walk because of the weather, but we had to turn back because the path was blocked with snow. We decided to go over Sheffield Pike to complete the walk. And we think it's been a great walk. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Lake District. You've been walking with the taxi driver today.